I don't remember me putting so much effort on doing something related to English. I've been putting my love on learning this language. Yeah, if it's if you love doing it, it doesn't feel like effort, right? I feel like that as well when it comes to I so I have a big project, a personal project for the last six months. I think I started a little while. Well, I started about a year ago, I guess. My goal is to build a map of all of human thought for the last 4,000 years that's not written down, not in notes, but is, it lives it completely in my head, in my mind. This is a personal goal. This involves tons of reading, philosophy, religion, uh, history, science. It involves a lot of reading. And it involves a lot of practice of the the uh, memory, d different memory techniques and ways to hold things in my mind so that I can recall them easily. This is a huge thing that I'm working on, but it's not like I think, oh God, no, I need to spend 20 minutes doing that. No, I, I'm desperately interested in doing this. I love it. It's like food for me. That's what I do in my free time. It's my favorite thing. It's awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait to do it. <laughs> <laughs> right? So if you can get to that point, like it sounds like Mary is, if you can get to that point on your journey where it's exciting for you, where you can't wait to take a walk and listen to a podcast and then remember a few words, you can't wait to practice writing an essay, you can't wait to have a conversation with a teacher or a friend or a language partner. You can't wait to read an article. You can't wait to maybe do, do some practice or exercises. These things are fun for you, and you've found a way to love them. You're far more likely to be successful if you are interested in the culture, if you're interested in, if you're interested in watching TV shows, and you're interested in, in listening to podcasts, and you're interested in... And doing everything that you need to do to improve. And it's a huge range of things. Then, number one, you probably won't give up. Number two, you're more likely to find the connections between those things to see, oh, yeah, actually, people say this word in these situations, but not in other situations. This is a common idiom or phrase that old people say, so maybe I won't say that. To find those connections and build out this map of your own which allows you to use the language naturally. And the more you get into it, the more it feels like play. You're, you're going to get good fast, probably. And someone who has to force themselves every day is less likely to. And the people who get excited for a week, I have, I'm very excited about improve me, improving. They get excited for a week. They're like less likely to continue because they don't get excited because they love it. They get excited because of some other thing. I see myself as a good English learner, but I don't know why. So that motivation is likely to fizzle out and die. Or I'm ashamed. Well, maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. Or I want people to be impressed by me. Maybe yes, maybe no. It's interesting how, how different reasons for doing things, it's like an energy source. How much fuel is in the tank that can be used, right? If the fuel is New Year's resolution, <laughs> that is often going to fizzle out and die. That is That tank is going to run out of fuel very quickly. It's not a great energy source for most people. Okay, well, what about shame? I'm embarrassed to speak English. For some people, it, it se seems to work okay, but for a lot of people, it doesn't. It fizzles out and the tank runs out very quickly. Well, what about just hoping to impress people? Well, what if you then find another thing that can make you even more impressive? Then you'll move on to that, and then another thing, and another thing. It can often lead to jumping around to different things that you're excited about, that you want to get good at to impress people. Maybe not the best type of fuel. Love, passion, that is a real fuel source that may be infinite, that doesn't run out. It's always there. The tank never runs out. So if you can find a way to get there, then uh, you're very lucky and um, uh, 
good for you because you're you're going to succeed so good for you mary mccain good for you happy for you guys if you haven't already don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and check out the full courses in the links in the description by the way the courses are on sale all 60 percent off for a limited time so click on the link in the description